fairly rapidly. All right, let's see. I have a short question. Okay, thoughts on your uh, delegate count? You plan on keep, right. keeping them and all the way to the convention? Oh, sure. And uh, the numbers aren't in yet, even for the states that we have finished. It takes a while, and we're optimistic about how many delegates we're going to get. Okay, Dr. Paul, you mentioned the, uh, the Syria and uh, Secretary of Defense, Lee Panetta's comments in regards to that. There's also been something put out um, about impeaching Obama if he was to engage in war. Are you for that? And is that something that you could impeach him well, if he doesn't? Right now, when it, impeachment is a political process. I don't believe we're politically in a, in a position, but there are so many impeachable offenses that goes on for many, many decades. I, uh, I, I think it's premature to talk about it. But I would agree that much of what goes on in this country, I'd like to impeach Congress at times, too, because they're giving the president some of these powers that he should be given. If you don't end up getting the nomination, do you think your campaign this year is sort of a good launching point for your son's possible presidential race in 2016? Well, I sure don't, I hope I don't hurt him, but that's, uh, he, he's his own person. He does what he needs to do. Uh, I mean, we, we don't even talk that much about politics. When he ran for the Senate, I think I went in there one time for him. So he, he does it on his own, and I, uh, we don't talk about what I'm doing and how that's going to affect him. I, I think he'll take care of himself pretty well. Dr. Paul, how many delegates do you hope to get here in the state? Congressman, do you think that Missouri's atypical presidential selection process this year gives you an advantage? Well, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. I'm not real good in, in analysis, all the detail of delegates. All I know is there's a fertile field here, and when I go and get crowds like this, I know the enthusiasm there. My job is to deliver a message and to uh, energize people, and then I have staff to follow up and do the best we can with the process and maximize our campaign. How who the young college students? Well, they are because I think they realize they're inheriting this. And they have basic instincts that have not been, uh, uh, you know, uh, messed around by the status quo. Because once you you get lectured either in educationally or by the government or the TV, then you have to sort of fit in. Young people are more independent-minded. They're more principled. They like it. They, their basic instincts are opposed to war. And once they've heard the story about the Federal Reserve, they're, they're intrigued with this. And they always mention to me, I like your stand on the Constitution. 